You are welcome to Math Demystified. In this question, we are asked to show if a plus b is equal to b plus a. And a is this matrix given to us. b is the other matrix. So we are going to be adding the matrices together. So this is a plus b. We add this and our solutions will be here. This is b plus a. We we'll add it and put a solution there. If we have the same answer, that means they are equal. If they are not the same, then that means they are not equal. Let's start. So you just add this like you add your numbers, normal way of adding numbers. So 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus minus 1, that simply means 3 minus 1, that's 2. 0 plus 2, 2. 4 plus 1, 5. 2 plus 3, 5, 1 plus 1, 2, then we have 3 plus 4, that's 7, 1 plus 2, 3, minus 2 plus minus, that will be minus, minus 2 minus 1 minus 3. Let's try the second one. 3 plus 2, we have 5. Minus 1 plus 3, that gives us 2. 2 plus 0, that gives us 2. You see that this first row is equal to the first row here. Let's try the second one. 1 plus 4, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. 1 plus 1, 2. The second row is also equal to the second row. Let's try the last one to confirm. 4 plus 3, 7. 2 plus 1, 3, and minus 1 plus minus, which is minus. Minus 1, minus 2, that's also minus 3. So we cannot confirm and write that hence A plus B is equal to B plus A. So that means that this set of matrices are commutative. A plus B equals B plus A. In this second question, we are given the same matrices and the symbols here, you see, is minus and minus. We want to also see if A minus B is equal to B minus A. We want to see if it's also commutative when we use operation negative. So let's see that. 2 minus 3 gives us minus 1. 3 minus minus 1 will give us 4. You have to be careful with those signs. 0 minus 2 will give us minus 2. Let's go to the next row. 4 minus 1 will give us 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 1 minus 1, 0. The last row, 3 minus 4, minus 1. 4 minus 2 is minus 1. Then we have minus 2 minus minus, which is plus. Minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. Let's go to the second one, B minus A. We just change the position. So 3 minus 2 is 1. You see, minus 1 minus 3 gives us minus 4. Then you have 2 minus 0, that is 2. You have second row, 1 minus 4, giving you minus 3. Then 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 1 gives you 0. Then you have 4 minus 3 
which is 1, 2, minus 1 is 1, then minus 1, minus, minus, plus, so minus 1 plus 2, that gives us 1. So you will see that A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So it's not commutative when you are using negative. I need you to check something at this. Look at these solutions carefully. You discover that all the solutions here, all the answers you have in the first one are the same set of answers you have in the second one. Except for the fact that the ones that are negative are now positive. All the ones that are positive are now negative. Of course, zero does not have any sign. That's why it remains zero. So, and that is it. So I need you to note that. So we can conclude and say that. Hence, A minus B is not equal to B minus B. In this particular question, we are given a matrix A to be 2, X, Y, and 0. That's a 2 by 2 matrix. And we have to find 3A. That means we are multiplying the matrix. So, 3a, you have a choice of writing this three times because 3a simply means a plus a plus a. So you can now write it as 2x, y, 0 plus 2x, y, 0 plus 2x, y, 0. And you can add up the way we just did the previous ones. 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6. x plus x plus x is 3x. y plus y plus y is 3y. And 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. That is the answer. Or, alternatively, you could just write your 3a to be equal to 3 of what a is, which is 2x, y, zero and you can multiply each of them by this number three times two six three times x three x three times y three y three times zero zero don't forget you can always pause the video and go over so that you can learn it properly so you see if you have something like 20 here or 40 or 50, this will be convenient at all. This is the best way to solve it. Our aim here is to find the value of x, and x happens to be located right here. So look for all the numbers in other matrices that are located in the same location. So this is the 4. And in this case, it is 3. So multiply each of them by the scalar that you have. So in this case, we have 5 multiplied by this 3 minus this 2 multiplied by this 4. That is what we give us the x that we are looking for. So this is 15 minus 8, which is equal to x. So whatever the value of 15 minus 8 is, that is what your answer will be. And in this case, it's going to be 7. So x is equal to 7. If you are asked to find the matrix W, X, Y, Z, so you solve it the way we did the previous example. In this case, you will have 5 multiply each of these elements inside. So you have 20, you got 15, 35, and 15. This one to multiply each of this to give you 2, 8, 6, and 4. And that is what the matrix will be. So, all you need to do right now is to subtract the way we solved example number 2. So, if you subtract the matrix WXYZ, will now be equal to 20 minus this give you 18, 15 minus 8 to give you 7, 
35 minus 6 to give you 29, then 15 minus 4 to give you 11. And that's what it's going to be. If you enjoyed our teaching, please click like and feel free to share our link with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications of our subsequent videos.